Good morning class 6 students. Hope you all are safe and sound. This is Mrs. Leslie Nadar here and let's get started with the subject physics chapter 2 physical quantities and measurements. So let's get started. Happy online learning. In this chapter you will learn about physical quantities length mass time and temperature how to measure length how to measure mass of an object measuring time measuring temperature of object and person measuring area of a regular object and conversion of physical quantity from one unit to other related unit let's see what is the definition of physical quantity any quantity which can be measured is called physical quantity and numerical value multiplied by unit gives the physical quantity hence to measure a physical quantity we must know the unit in which the quantity is to be measured the numerical value that expresses how many times the above mentioned unit is contained in the given quantity and therefore physics involves the measurement of various types due to this it is called the science of measurement let's see what is measurement Measurement is the comparison of unknown quantity with a known constant quantity. For example, if your height is 1.5 meters, it means your height is 1.5 times the standard length of 1 meter. And second example, 5 kg rice means quantity of rice is 5 times the standard mass of 1 kg. That is the reason one part of every measurement consists of a number and the other part consists of the name of the unit. Measurement is a basis of science. It plays an important role in our daily life. We need to measure time, space and many other things which we come across every day. As such, at what time will you go to school? At what time you get up early in the morning? Whenever we buy vegetables, fruit or sugar, tea, rice or wheat, we go to the market. Or when we fall sick, the doctor measures our body temperature. Or when we buy milk, oil, etc., we measure their volume. Thus, measurement is an essential part of our daily life. Let's see why is the need of standard units of measurement. Measurements were once based on body parts such as arms and feet. This was not accurate because body parts vary in size from person to person. And using standard units makes it possible for a person in one place to work with the same quantity as someone kilometers away. Hence, there was a need of standard units of measurement. And this is how the standard units of measurement came into existence. Let's see what are the characteristics of standard units. First point, standard units should be of moderate size so that it can be used conveniently. Place and time do not affect its value at all. The third point, it is always possible to define it without any ambiguity or doubt. It cannot be destroyed and it is easily reproducible. Let's see what are the MKS and CGS units of measurements. In MKS system, meter, kilogram, second were taken as base units for length, mass and time. And in CGS unit, so centimeter gram second were taken as base units for length mass and time and that is the way the name itself means mks system means m for meter k for kilogram and s for second and in cgs system c for centimeter g for gram and s for second let's see what are the rules for writing correct units First point, lowercase is used to write the name of units. For example, small m for meter, small kg for kilogram, etc. Symbols of units that bear the name of the scientist are written in uppercase, that is capital letters. For example, capital N for Newton, capital J for Joule, etc. Symbols of units are never followed by a full stop. For example, symbol for kilogram is kg and not kg full stop. Units are written in plural only when used in words, but symbols remain unaltered. For example, symbol for 20 kilograms is 20 kg and not 20 kgs. Towards your right, you can see international system of units SI. Capital K, Kelvin for temperature, 
small m for meter that is distance capital a for ampere that is electric current small s second time and mol that is mole mole amount of substance kg kilogram for mass and cd candela for intensity of light what is length the distance between any two points or places is called length the standard unit of length in si system is small m meter rulers meter scale and measuring tapes are some common instruments used for measuring length towards your right you can see the instruments for measurement of length vernier calipers screw gauge spherometer microscope etc a few instruments used for measuring small lengths you need to draw the figures of instruments used to measure length in your notebook let's see what are the multiples and sub multiples of meter multiples is greater than meter and sub multiples means lesser than meter meter is not considered a convenient unit of measuring for long lengths or distances for example distance between delhi and kolkata also it is inconvenient while measuring small objects like eraser pencil so here multiples and sub multiples of meter is used let's see what are the precautions while taking measurements of certain objects always place the object on the flat surface otherwise it gives an incorrect measurement always place the ruler or meter scale along the length of the object to be measured keep your eye vertically above the point from where you have to measure and if the ruler is broken and the zero mark is not visible clearly then take the measurement from the point which is clearly visible after measurement subtract the starting point from the point corresponding to the other end of the object let's see how to measure the mass what is mass mass is the quantity of matter that is solid liquids or gas contained in a body the standard unit of mass in si system is kilogram kg let's see what are the units of mass unit symbol unit kilogram symbol is kg small kg unit gram symbol is small g unit milligram symbol is small mg unit quintal symbol is small q unit metric ton symbol is t beam balance and electronic balance are also used to measure mass Let's see what are the precautions to be taken while measurements. Check whether the beam balance and weights are correct. Check whether the weights have the lead seal. How to measure time? The interval between the two events is called time. The SI unit of the time is second, small s. Earlier, man estimated time by looking at the sun and the moon. Later, it was done by early clocks like sundials, sun clock and water clock. Nowadays time is measured by advanced clocks and watches example stopwatch digital watch pendulum clock wrist watch etc the most accurate time keeping distance in the world is the atomic clock let's see how to measure temperature what is temperature basically temperature is the measure of the degree of hotness or coldness of a body For example when you have fever high fever what do your mother does what does your mother does your mother takes a thermometer and inserts in your mouth and checks the temperature of your body temperature is usually measured with thermometer and the si unit of temperature is kelvin but generally degree celsius and degree fahrenheit is used how to measure area The amount of surface covered by an object or place is called its area. The area of an object or place depends on its size. Greater the size, greater will be the area. The standard unit of area in a size system is square meter or meter square. Can be written as sq meter or meter raised to two meter square. What is the approximation in measurement? It is not an exact representation. but it is still close enough to be useful when we have to make quick judgment we take approximation for example we add sugar salt or spices while cooking food by estimation we just add a pinch of salt or a spoon of sugar in while cooking what is known as the accuracy in measurement 
the closeness with which a measurement gives result to match with the true value is called the accuracy measurement is less accurate when we buy vegetables fruits etc by but it is more precise when we purchase gold or prepare drug let's see what are the standard weights and measures departments of weights and measures government of india maintains the correctness of weights and different measuring devices used all over the country a correct meter scale has the following characteristics it has arrow signs it contains a stamp of approval from the department of weights and measures so when we go to the market to buy things like vegetables sugar pulses etc we should check whether a shopkeeper uses a correct beam balance a correct beam balance should be designed correctly department of weights and measures government of india maintains the correctness of weights and different measuring devices used all over the country like a correct meter scale correct beam balance and standard weights etc the characteristics of beam balance are the handle of the beam balance should not manipulate the beam the beam should not be able to move freely on the central axis the beam should have the stamp of approval from the department of weights and measures both the arms must be of equal length both the arms must be of equal weight characteristics of correct meter scale as we saw earlier it has arrow signs it contains a stamp of approval from the department of weights and measures characteristics of correct beam balance as we saw earlier the handle of the beam should not manipulate the beam the beam should not be able to move freely in the central axis the beam should have the stamp of approval from the department of weights and measures both the arms must be of equal length both the arms must be of equal weight in the in the figure you can see the correct beam balance and the incorrect beam balance you can compare between the two the characteristics of correct weight it should be made of metal it has a o hole at the back bottom in which some lead is filled lead gives the required heaviness to the weight it has a stamp of approval from the department of weights and measures let's see how to find the area of regular shapes we calculate the area of regular shapes by using graph paper first count the number of complete squares within the outline then count the number of incomplete squares within the outline which is more than half ignore the squares which is less than half add the number of squares obtained in step number 1 and 2 this will give you the approximate area of the object let's see the sort numerical can you see the figure with the graph paper towards your right it is the boundary of a triangle object is given on the graph paper find its approximate area if you see the solution will be in the given outline how many number of complete squares are there just check 1 2 so number of complete squares are 2 number of incomplete squares are 2 so thus the approximate area of the given object is 2 plus 2 is 4 square cm or 4 cm square let's see the numericals of this chapter first example the floor of a room has been paved with the square tiles of side 45 cm find the area of the room if 60 tiles cover a whole surface solution area of a tile area of a square is what children side square so area of a tile is side square 45 cm square is 45 square means 45 multiplied by 45 is equal to 2025 cm square then if we have found the area of a tile so how much will be the area of 60 tiles multiply the answer with 60 2025 if you multiply by 60 you will get 121500 cm square and the answer if you convert it in meter it will be 12.15 meter square so the area of the room is what children 12.15 meter square example 2 if 10 5 rupee coins placed one on top of the other make a stack of thickness 2.5 cm what will be the thickness of one coin solution thickness of 10 coins is 2.5 cm and thickness of one coin will be divided by 10 so 2.5 divided by 10 you will get 0 towards your left that is 0.25 point goes towards one point towards your left so it is 0.25 cm and if you want to convert it into millimeter that will be 2.5 millimeter when you multiply 0.25 into 10 you will get 2.5 millimeter example 
If the body temperature of a man on Celsius scale is 40 degree Celsius, what will be his temperature on Fahrenheit scale? We know that C upon 100 is equal to F minus 32 upon 180. This is the formula children, where C is for temperature on Celsius and F for temperature on Fahrenheit scales. Here, C is equal to 40. 40 upon 100 is equal to F minus 32 upon 180. Cross multiply. F minus 32 multiplied by 100 is equal to 40 multiplied by 180. The next step, F minus 32 is equal to 100 goes down. 14 to 180 upon 100 is equal to answer you get as 72. So, F minus 32 is equal to 72 minus 32 when it goes towards your right it becomes plus. F is equal to 72 plus 32 is equal to 104. Therefore, on Fahrenheit scale it is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Example 4, convert the following into degree Celsius. First, 77 degree Fahrenheit. Second, 50 degree Fahrenheit. Solution A. C upon 100 is equal to F minus 32 upon 180 is the formula or C upon 100 is equal to 77 minus 32 upon 180. You have to memorize this formula by heart. C multiplied by 180 is equal to 45 into 100. We cross multiplied. C we will keep it towards the left and the numbers we can give it to the right. If 180 is multiplied towards the left when it goes towards the right it becomes in the division form. So 45 into 100 upon 180 gives the answer as 25 that is 77 degree Fahrenheit can be written as 25 degree Celsius. Second one. C upon 100 is equal to F minus 32 upon 180. Again the formula you need to write the formula in each step. Or C upon 100 is equal to 50 minus 32 upon 180. Cross multiply. C is equal to 18. 50 minus 32 is 18 into 100. We have taken 100. It, is, it was towards the left in the division form. When it goes towards the right it goes in the multiplication form. So 18 into 100 upon 180 is equal to 10. That is 50 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 10 degree Celsius. I hope your everyone has understood this lesson very nicely. So as we will again learn this in the online class, I hope it everything will be cleared. Thank you students. Have a blessed day ahead. God bless you students.